think it'll do. Yeah? Yeah. You're kind of leaning the pole. I don't know if that's intentional. Huh? Your pole is leaning. <laughs> I love you. How much is the pole leaning? Uh, 15 degrees. 18 degrees. And the reason the pole is leaning 18 degrees is because we have to match the inclination of the earth. The earth is curved, contrary to surprisingly popular opinion. It's, it's not, not curved, it's curve. off, off, off axis. And it's off axis 23 and a half degrees. Not, not the axial rotation of the earth, the horizon. Okay. Okay. You have to tilt an antenna a small amount, depending on how high it is. If you want to aim it in a certain direction, because the radiation pattern of the antenna is going to go straight out, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if you have if you go out towards the horizon, you want to angle down a little bit so that you can hit things further away. Because otherwise, you're just trying to listen to fucking space, right? Okay. Picture it. We're on top of a ball. Yeah. Okay. So I'm angling 18 degrees because that's a distance of 50 miles, and it'll let me hear everything within 50 miles that way. Because there's nothing that way. Right. So. But you're leaning away from it. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll see. It'll be okay. Hello guys, welcome to today's captain's vlog. I am installing a badass scanner antenna on the roof. A very good friend Daniel sent me this years ago. And uh, I used to have it on the roof in the lab in my old apartment. It was one of the few antennas I was able to save. And now it will have a new life here at my house. So. This is the process. I'll take you through it and it'll be kind of fun. First, I gotta get down for the next mount. See, I got all the dust happening here. It'd be really cool if I could have a fucking mask. Right. But you can't. What you do is you back out, let it clear a minute, take a deep breath. April is damn fine weather for working on a roof. This is how I spend the first nice day of good weather. Setting up a radio monitoring system for the end of the world. <laughs> Can you talk on this antenna? Yeah, but this is mainly for listening. You could talk on it with a low power rig. I knew you were bullshitting me. What? And you're like, it's got to be 18 degrees. That's the inclination? I thought that was clever as fuck. That was stupid. I was pretty proud of that. Oh, I've got you to believe dumber things. I know. working in the sun, but I hate working into the sun. <laughs> Last one. Then we're going to hoist it. There's a big brother to this antenna that has a piece that comes out the top. Yeah? And that one's for transmitting. Oh. But this is going to be for us, the just listening. A little SDR antenna. Yeah. Look at that big antenna. It's pretty cool. It came out nice. All right, guys, there you go. Scanner antenna installed. This was originally a quarter mount with straps, but my my uh chimney is too damn fat. My straps are about two feet too short on each one. So I had to hammer this flat and uh, just set them in with tap cons. But that seems pretty skookum. And it's a really tiny little light antenna. We're not up terrible high, so I think it'd be all right. What do we use for that pipe there? Oh, yeah. 
So antenna mast is fucking expensive for what it is, but if you go to Menards or Home Depot or wherever, this is not antenna mast. This is a piece of zinc galvanized, hot dip zinc galvanized steel pipe, which is the exact same thing as an antenna mast. It's an inch and three eighths in diameter, which is the same size as antenna mast, but this is a third of the price because this is the top rail for chain link fencing. One and three eighths inch top rail, sometimes called head rail, for uh, just regular cyclone fencing, chain link fence. Same fucking thing, it's galvanized steel pipe. This is a little bit thicker walled, so it's a little heavier, but what do you care? And uh, it works great. I've, I've done this a few times, so works great. Here's my antenna, fits my antenna. I'm a happy guy. You guys have fun. That's today's Captain's Blood.